take it down a notch. You're so excited. Luke, you probably don't have it. Are you going over, starting to roll over there? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. The team, we that was not hit He's just like, nyun, nyun, nyun. <laughs> it looked awful. It was so funny. I mean, Yeah, I mean, I gotta be honest, Duff is keeping his composure behind the fence. Wow. <laughs> yes, right oh, yeah. Wow. All right, guys, we just got done practice. It's terrible here. The weather's crazy. It's torrential rain, and then it's not. And then we get a couple laps in, the drivers are drifting, and it's drying up the track. We're making smoke, and we're like, yes, and we make some quick setup changes, and then it starts raining again. I'm convinced it only rains at Formula Drift now. Don't plan your vacations around Formula Drift because it's gonna rain. So, as far as what's happening with the car, we did make a couple setup changes that are actually working pretty well. We have a quick change now, and we went from a 3.9 to a 4.10, and it seems to have really helped out going up the hill. Um, but, man, just coming down to initiation, or even after running the whole thing and coming back up for the finish, it's just this huge puddle there, and it's just going to wash you out every time. So, we have one more practice session. It's very tiny. It's actually called the warm-up. Uh, we are going to do the warm-up session here in about 45 minutes. It's still currently raining. Rather says it's going to stop. I don't know. Track conditions are going to change. And it's going to go right into seating, uh, which is now the new qualifying format. So we probably won't be having time to do this, but I'll follow up with you guys after the seating bracket and tell you exactly how we did uh, as we go against our opponent, uh, Clark. 15-year-old from Ireland. And there it is, 15 years young, from the UK, Clark Catton and Alex Licklider. Coming to us from Maryland. So uh, let's see what this young man's got. It, all right, well, that was many moons ago, but uh, Licklider here, he's going to lead and had a slow roll in that uh, BMW. And uh, maybe too slow, happened to me. Yeah, he shut, that's, that's what, yeah, he's having some issues there with the setup as Licklider. Like I said, he's, he's progressed his program. He's, uh, Added some components to his car to make it more competitive. So Lick Lighter and Hat now comes to play. No pun intended even on his age, but having some issues in that chase position and Lick Lighter making it, making it look okay. I think there's definitely some points of improvement, but uh, Hat just, you just see him strolling down the hill and then finally steps it out. Uh, Lick Lighter's initiation here, a little, little flick of the wrist here as he uh, puts it in there, touches the rumble strips. The non-stop tuning 86 of Alex Lick Lighter is uh, now starting to come alive here as he crosses the interflip three and the finish. Away they go. We'll see if they got that uh, that problem figured out, or if the gremlin still exists. Here we go. Hat coming, strolling down the hill. Looks pretty comparable to what he had before. Initiates straight line, not looking for grip and drift right now. The car seems tight. GTA, this, yeah. Time attacking. <laughs> no, this is that's not not ideal. The car is just you know yeah. like like you said, all joking aside, the car's. The car's yeah. got to be looser, so that's going to be a lick lighter victory. I feel Easy like for him. I feel like that might have been a power issue. Sure. And it's a lick lighter there. All right, so uh, yeah, that's going to be a major advantage for lick lighter. All right, so we just got done doing our seating bracket, which is now the tandem qualifying that we're doing, and uh, we just battled Mark Hatton. And I had some understeer when I was leading. But uh, when I did the chase, uh, I, I felt like I was doing really good. I actually passed him uh, right after uh, Interclip 2. He seems to be having some mechanical issues, both on his lead and his chase. Not the way we want to win. Uh, I wish I could have driven a lot better and gotten the best run I could have out of him. But uh, we're moving on to tomorrow's competition, so we're excited to be on the show. And uh, we'll tell you how practice and competition goes tomorrow. Till then.
Lighter. Making some changes to his car. Let's see what he's got as Buchanan. Comes out of the cannon. Came in like a Buchanan ball. Now coming down the hill. What do we got? Buchanan, a little squirrely into that first. You see some wavering lick lighter. Looks like he goes a little wide. That might have thrown him off. It definitely did. You can see he compromised the angle to gain some ground, but that SRDZ. Now back up the hill. Yeah. And, uh, we'll see what uh, Lick Lighter can do on the front. Hopefully, he can clean his run up and figure out what's going on. Yeah, Lick Lighter, definitely an excitable young man. Let's see what he's got out front. And there we go. Lick Lighter. Cannon chasing him down. You got to think, you know, you have this whole season off. You're going around the block, going to Atlanta. I mean, this is, this, is a, this is a big track, Lick Lighter. Hits it, and you saw those green wheels just stick out like a sword thumb. That's a correction there, Buchanan. Now comes in. Oh, Lick Lighter. That's going to be all she wrote. Buchanan rips it all the way across can you the tell finish line. Yeah, can you tell how excited he is by how many rev limits were here? Go, go, go. <laughs> that, that was, yeah, on the, on the rev on the even on the foot brake. Look at that. We got right on that front left, and he just... He probably initiated a little too early. They didn't want it to. Car gripped up. All right, guys. So I just finished my top 32 battle with Cody Buchanan. He has his uh, 350Z. And unfortunately, uh, I don't really think I did very good, uh, both on my lead and my chase. Um, I chased first, and I could just never get on his door. I kind of followed the momentum and stuff, but there was just gaps, and I could never tighten that up. As far as my lead run goes, uh, I made a critical error. I went off track coming from outer zone one to outer zone two. Um, Coming off that hill is blind. I mean, I know you guys watch it on TV, don't really know that, but you can't see over that crest, over that horizon. And all day in practice, with the minimal practice that we received, which is one left, by the way. When you pull that e-brake coming off the hill, when you let go, that's where your line is. And I was always doing, uh, I was letting go of the e-brake too early and caused myself to have a very shallow line. And this time, I knew I had to go deeper. But when I went up that hill, blindly, and came up on top, and saw that there was a wall, and you gotta go right, right away, I just really had a hard time trying to figure out how to scrub that much speed, and it resulted in me going off track. Um, not the way I wanted to go out. Obviously, I wanted to get my best battle. I haven't gone off track all weekend, so um, it sucks to do it in competition when you're trying to perform your best. Uh, but at least we made it in the show. We have competition series points now, and we have more data now than we've ever had here for Real Drift Atlanta, which is going to make us that much more competitive next year. We'll carry this momentum of being into the competition with this great new team that we have. The tool has increased. Everything's going to be great going into New Jersey. I'll see you guys there. Extra one. I'm going to give you guys an extra one. You already have one, right? You already have one? No, I already have one. Okay. You already have one? Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Thank you so much, man. I hope you win. Thank you, thank you. All right, All right who's ready to win some freestyle? Look at this crowd. This is great. Yes. It's an awesome crowd. Thank you guys for coming. I want to try to speak loudly, so hopefully you can hear, but come closer. Come closer. Come on in. Yeah. Bring it in, guys. Yeah, come closer. So first of all, give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all your support. Uh, we've been around a long, long time, and the crowds always get bigger and bigger. So thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. So the way we do this is this is going to take a little while, right? Because we've given out, I don't know, a ton of raffle tickets. But it just increases your chances since the other people aren't here. So we start with Alex. He does the first drawing. And then if he doesn't have a winner, then we go to the crowd. So then like maybe you would pick the next one. And we just keep going till the next person picks until somebody wins. And then if you win, you get one free item. So any item you want on the table for free. <laughs> any item, yeah. any item here. Any free. one item. And then 
for those of you who don't win, we'll still offer you an extra discount. So everybody bought stuff that got 20% off, right? That's how you got your tickets. If you want to return your ticket back, then we will give you 25% off. So if you don't win the raffle, you can still get a decent discount on something else. Does that make sense? Is everybody ready? Yeah! Alright, let's do it. You ready? Where's the jumps? Where's the drum roll? Drum roll? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Here we go. Alright, here it is, guys. Ooh, ooh, we got, we got one. Last three numbers. Six, six, five. Six, six, five? Right there! Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. It took so long. 665. Oh, I wasn't even gonna verify. 665. That's it. He's the winner. He's the winner. I can't yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, that was great. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Next round. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming.